Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about CSS animations. Um, I've got this example here where, you know, I hover o over this box and I have this Domo kitten um, kind of rotating and, and scaling, right? So I've already written the code here just to show the example, but maybe we'll rewrite it. So I'm going to delete all this here and my markup initially is just a div called with the class name domo and a an image tag inside okay so let's give um, the domo a style so I'm going to give it width of 200 pixels height of 240 pixels you could use this some styles like this for like a uh, a website with that was a store or you could use it for um, cards you know or just anything interesting way to to display information could be an interesting headline right so I've got the width and height I'm gonna put a border on this of one uh, pixel solid just so we can see it right so um, actually I guess I can't see it because you can kind of see it here but the the pictures in front of it right um, so let's um, you know and really too I, I don't want the picture to be um, overlapping the border I want this picture to fit inside the box which is about this big right so what we'll do is we'll use overflow hidden so that means now anything that falls any any child element or descendant that is larger than this element will be cropped at the edges of, of of the of this element right so now I have this right so my next step now is to place the the image in the center of the box so what I'll do is I'll I'll set domo to position relative okay and that means that um, any child element or descendant if it's position absolute will use this domo as reference or the parent element the relative parent it'll use that as a reference when it sets its position so let's set that up what does that look like so I'm gonna say domo child image and this should be you know any image tag that's a child of the element with class domo so what I'll do now is I, I've got this guy and I'll say you're gonna be position absolute I don't know why it never code hints me absolute but it code hints relative anyway um so I've got uh, position absolute now I can say left of 50 percent and top and there's a few ways to center this in here I'm gonna just do it this way if I do left and top of 50 percent then actually the the upper left corner goes to the center of the box okay if I did zero and zero then this upper left corner would end up you know right here right so um, so to move the picture back into the middle I'm gonna use uh, transform translate negative 50 percent on the X and negative 50% on the Y so this is a little weird but this 50% is the width of the picture where the left and top 50% are the width of the container which is a little strange but that's just how it works I guess so anyway so now I got this picture it's like right in the middle there right and that's pretty good a pretty good place to start but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it down a little bit so that when we do the hover effect we can scale it up so I'll say scale um, how about 75% uh, so we can just do 0.75 and then um, I'm gonna animate the rotation so I'm gonna put rotate in here but I'll I'll set the rotation value to zero so it'll be rotated zero degrees right and uh, and then that's what it looks like right so that looks pretty good so now we want to set up the hover effect so in this case um, I'm really gonna hover over the outer parent and then apply an effect to a, the child right so what I'll do is I'll write it this way I'll say domo colon hover child image okay and um, now let's say um, let's copy this thing and because we want to just change this right so I'm gonna leave this alone 
but I'll change the scale to 100%, we can do 1.0, right? And then we'll rotate, how about uh, 14 degrees? I think I did 12 last time, but we'll do 14 right now. So, um, oh, so now I've got my, my hover effect, but now we need to add an animation or add some motion to that. So these are, we can think of these as our two keyframes. So this is one extreme and this is the other extreme. And then now we need to say like how much time should happen between those two keyframes. So we'll do that by setting the transition time. So I'm going to say transition. Let's do it as uh, 600 milliseconds. This is a little slower. I think I did 400 on the example, right? So that looks pretty good, right? Um, it's a little subtle, but there's also some, some timing functions you can add. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose transition timing function. And um, if I set it to linear, you know, right now there's some easing. So you can see like as I, as I hover, it starts off quick and then it slows down until it comes to a stop. And it does the same thing in reverse, right? So if I refresh now, this is linear. So here the animation is going the same speed the whole time, which feels a little mechanical, right? The default, I think, is ease, right? So this is what we saw initially, right? And then there's a few more. So we can say ease, you can do ease in, ease out, uh, ease in out. I'm gonna choose ease in out. So this should speed up and then slow down at the end. Right, should go fastest halfway through the, the tweening process, right? So I'll, I'll choose that and then um, refresh. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So anyway, so that got us started. Um, thanks for watching.